In the first video, we've taken those results, the two nils, the two ones, translated them into words. So a result, a two nil, would be a home win, a draw, and an away win. So we've got this meaningful information now. We've got all of this text stacked up, draws, losses, wins. So we're moving towards what we need to do. In this video, we're gonna take the first step towards actually collating that information. Remember, we want to have a list of team names and then how many wins, draws, losses for each team. That's what we want to get to, but it's very important that we work through the steps to get there. If you just try to do it all in one step, um, you're very quickly gonna become overwhelmed and you know, you're probably gonna uh, not feel like doing it and give up. So it's important to think about the steps and to work through them. And in this video, let's get into the spreadsheet. We're gonna work through one of those steps. You know, it's not immediately uh, obvious why this step is important, but it will become absolutely clear as we work through the video series. So what are we gonna do? Well, you'll notice at the top of the data sheets, uh, we've got six columns here. Home win, home draw, home loss, away win, away draw, and away loss. And what we're going to do is if there's a home win, we want the name of the home team to appear in the home win column. If there's a draw, we want the name of the home team to appear here. And likewise for the away side, if there's an away win, we want the name of the away team to appear in column J. And then we're gonna go through uh, the whole thing like that. So for, for each row, you're gonna have two teams in there, um, a home win, uh, the home team would appear here, away win, the name of the away team uh, would appear here. Now, this layout is replicated on the collation sheet, which is another important point, and the importance will become clear as we go through uh, the video series. Yeah, but I've got the collation sheet here, and this layout is exactly the same. Six columns here, three for home, three for away. That's gonna help us build in the formulae very quickly and smoothly to do that collation. So the structure, of the spreadsheet consistency of layout is really important if you want to make the process smooth and make formula building easier. So let's think about um, the formula we're gonna need. Uh, so once again, let's take a step back and try to describe in English what we're trying to do. Well, if the, what's displaying in this column, home loss, um, if this value is home win, then we want the team name to appear in column G. Um, if this value is home draw, we want the team name to appear in column H, etc., etc. So let's say it in English, get it nice and clear. That should make it easier to translate into formula language. But we're gonna start with the if formula. Certainly stop the video here if you wanna try it yourself. Uh, and then this is the important cell, E2. So if E2 equals, uh, home win, we're going to start with. I'm going to put uh, the reference in, references in after this. And then uh, we want the name to appear, the home name. And then if not, then we don't want anything to appear in the cell. If we want nothing to appear in the cell, then we can just put the speech marks in. That means nothing's going to appear. So let's have a look um, at this formula. So nothing's appearing there. That's because it's not a home win. I'm just going to change the result to a home win. Let's see what happens. Okay, so if it is a home win, then Bournemouth's, uh, the team name is appearing there. So that seems fine. So the logic seems to be fine. But if you look at this formula, what's missing uh, from this formula? What do you think is missing? Well, we've got to do something about the references. We want to copy and paste this formula across columns and we want to copy and paste the formula down rows. So we've got to think about where do we need relative references? That means there's no dollar signs in the formula. Where do we need absolute references? That means there's two dollar signs in the reference. Where do we need partial absolute references? That means we're just fixing the column or we're just fixing the row. And this is a really good example for kind of getting your head around uh, relative and absolute references. So let's start with this formula. So the first part, if E2. So E2, well, we do wanna fix the column there because we're gonna copy and paste this formula across the spreadsheet and we want that reference to keep referencing the same column. But as we copy it down, we want the reference to move down. Otherwise the reference would keep uh, referencing uh, the first row. 
So we're going to need a partial absolute reference there that uh, fixes the column, but not the row. Now I'm just hitting the F4 key here. And you can see as you hit the F4 key, it goes through the four different options, which are um, relative reference, so no dollar signs, full absolute reference, two dollar signs, partial absolute reference for the column, which is a single dollar sign between the letter and the number, and then a partial absolute reference um, for the, I got that the wrong way around, sorry, let's go through them again. So uh, this one would be a partial absolute reference for the row, if there's a dollar sign between the letter and the number, and then the final one would be a partial absolute reference for the column, this would fix uh, the column. So this is what we're interested in, because as we copy paste the formula across, we want that column to stay fixed. So this looks good uh, to me. And then G1, we're going to want another uh, partial reference, but this time we, we want it to relate to the row, not the column, because we're pulling that formula down. Um, and then looking across A2, again here, we want a partial absolute reference that's going to fix uh, the row. So I think uh, this looks like it's going to work. As always, you know, don't stress too much about the details, just try it. That's going to help you to understand if it's working or not. Okay, so put the formula in there. Uh, clicking and holding on the square in the bottom right hand corner, just taking it across. And we can see Bournemouth has appeared in this cell, which seems to be right um, because it's a home loss. So we want Bournemouth to appear in the home loss column. Then we can double click and double click in the square in the bottom right hand corner. And the formula auto fills down. And now we can test it. So here, this looks right, home draw, home win in row five, that looks right, home, home win in row six, that looks right, and then two away wins in row seven and eight. So this seems to be right, so I'm happy with how I've set up the formulae and how I've done the referencing there, seems to work well. So let's move across the spreadsheet. We want the same thing for the away team now. So how are we going to do this? Well, we can maybe copy and paste and manipulate the other formula, but it's good practice to try to build it again from scratch. So let's say if, now we're going to look at column F. So if the result in column F, and I'm going to fix um, the partial absolute reference there. Uh, so if um, F2 equals away win, again with the partial absolute reference, this time fixing the row, not the column, then I want the name of the away team to display. Again, partial absolute reference, this time fixing the column, not the row. And if not, I don't want anything to appear. So this seems to be right, again, let's give it a test. Okay, there we go, so yeah, the first one is definitely an away win, that seems to work. Dragging it across, double click to auto fill down. Then we've got Swansea, yep, that's a draw and a draw again, then we've got an away loss, that makes sense, Sunderland and Tottenham, and then let's go down to the bottom, row 15, and then, yep, that makes sense, home win, away loss. Okay, so this seems to be working, and as I said, the importance of this, you know, is not clear yet, but by taking this step now, it's gonna make the collation that we're gonna do in the next video much, much smoother to do. And the main thing, the main learning point from this video is certainly to do with the if formula and particularly uh, how you do those uh, absolute references, partial absolute references. Remember, um, if we double click here, let's just look at this formula again. Uh, by using the F4 key, you can fix the cell so that wherever that formula goes, it will always reference the same cell. Or you can just fix the row uh, so that as the formula is pasted down, it keeps referencing the same row. Or you can just fix the column. So as the formula moves across, it's copy pasted across, it's going to keep referencing that column. So really important to try to get your head round uh, absolute references, partial absolute references too. That's exactly what this technique is going to allow you to do. So in the next video, we're going to go to the collation sheet. And here we've got a list of teams. And in these cells, we're going to actually count up the number of wins, draws, losses of each team. And that means we're moving towards a collated analysis and our need table. I'll see you in the next video.